Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another season of Hot Roulette. Like a lot of you guys asked, I'm bringing this series back for you guys. And I'm also super excited to bring you guys this series because like for the past three years, this series has been going really, really well. And I'm super excited to start back from the bottom and build all the way up and try to get to Division 1 with an awesome team. So anyways, we're going to have some different rules than last year and the previous couple years. I opted out of the EA program, so there's a couple things I need to change about that. But anyways... Here is a new team and new squad I'm creating, the Roulette Squad. Created a completely new account so we can just focus on Hot Roulette for this account at least. So anyways, let's open up our starter pack and we're going to see what we get. We're just going to go ahead and skip it because the pack doesn't really matter too much. We're going to build this team. I'll show you guys how the team is looking right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our team here. We're going to go right into the edit lineups page and see if we get anything good. But this is the team we're going to be rocking with in the first episode of Hot Roulette. We got Matt Martin, Peter Holland, Mike Sislo. We got Nathan Horan on the injury reserve list on the Toronto Maple Leafs right now. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Shane Prince. Matt Nieto, Tim Schaller, Nick Baton, Nick Batan, Chris Terry, Melker Carlson, as well as Nate Thompson. So pretty good offensive lineups in Division 10 at least. I don't think we're gonna be facing anybody too difficult in the beginning, but you never know. Matthias Eckholm, uh, Zach Bogosian, Trevor Van, uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, Johnny Oduya, Brandon Davidson, and Matt Green on the defensive side. Let's take a look at our goalie as well. No coaches right now, but we got Michael Hutchinson and Al Montoya. So pretty much a standard, uh, you know, non-rare goal team. And that is the team we're going to be at to play with in uh, the first game of Division 10. So anyways, let's go ahead and explain the rules now. So like I already mentioned, I'm not getting any packs or coins from EA this year to help support this Hut Roulette series. So I'm going to be pretty much doing this all by myself. And I can't go ahead and just be buying uh, expensive players from the marketplace because right now I'm starting with a brand new team. I would have to spend my own money to get like a Crosby or Ovechkin. And I honestly cannot afford that right now with my university budget. Uh, so this year I do have to set a buy now maximum, but I will set some different rules to give me um, a better chance to raise my coin toll up so I can keep buying some more expensive players. I won't be able to buy Crosby or Ovechkin until very later until in, into this series, which I think is also good because it kind of makes the series a, a little bit longer. But uh, I'll kind of explain the rules of how I'm going to be buying players from the marketplace. So pretty much this year, I'm going to be taking out the buy now minimum and the win streaks. And this year, pretty much every time I get one win, I can raise that buy now maximum to however many coins I have in my coin total. And it'll be it'll definitely make a lot more sense once I start the series up. But let's give you guys an example. Say I won a game and I had 2,000 coins in my coin total. Then I can raise that buy now maximum to exactly 2,000 coins and go ahead into the marketplace and choose a player. And how I'm going to be choosing a player is depending on the amount of shots I get in that game that I did win. So let's give you guys an example here. Say I got eight shots in that game and I won with a score of two to nothing and I had a coin total of 2,000 coins. Now I'll go ahead and search in the marketplace with only those parameters and choose the eighth player. And the thing is, this year it's a little bit different in terms of the rows. There's an extra row in um, in the marketplace. So pretty much the top row is the ones I'm going to be counting out first and then the bottom row is the next row I'm going to be counting out. So the eighth player would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then number eight would be John Mitchell. So I will kind of explain that in the in the counting process, like when I go down a row, so you guys aren't too confused with what's going on. All right, so obviously we're not going to be winning every single game that we play. If we do get a loss, we have to randomly remove a player from our team. And as you guys saw from last year, I'm just going to be using random.org and just selecting a random position off our team to be get rid of. And we have a chance of losing some good players. We have some chances of getting rid of bad players. But at least it will help uh, get give us a chance to get try out new players on the team. So if there's some player that I really like using, then it's possible that I can get rid of that player. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I just bought some NHL points with my own money. And pretty much this year, I will be continuing the three-game win streak rule. Where if I get a three-game win streak, I can buy one 15k gold plus pack. And that will help increase that buy now maximum uh, every time I get a three game win streak. And that coin total should definitely build up after a few episodes, which is definitely really nice. And uh, that should be 2200 points. That should be able to buy me about uh, eight or nine packs, seven or eight packs, just about. And uh, yeah, that will be a way to kind of supplement Hot Roulette just a little bit and make Hot Roulette just a bit more exciting. 
Finally, the last rule I'm adding in that will make this a little bit more exciting is the ability to sell players from my collection. So last year what I did was I, I just bought the players from the marketplace. I just add them to like a whole collection on my main team and uh, you know everything was really mixed up so I didn't sell any of the players I got from any of the packs or the collections but since this year I'm doing like this in a brand new account I have a way to at least see every single player that I pick up and I can sell those players off and try to raise that coin total as well and that does apply as well to players that I lose from the team so say if I get a loss and I lost say a Jonathan Taves from, the, from my team I can still go ahead and sell that player and still be able to raise that buy now maximum and find a new replacement for him after you know the next game that I do win or the next few games I do win we can maybe find a way to kind of make this still interesting if we do lose a really good player as well so that is a rule that I think will be kind of the underdog and I don't exactly know how well it's gonna work but I'm hoping that that could in fact make this series very very exciting so those are the rules it's very basic anyways we're pretty much gonna get started into the first game of hot roulette i'm gonna have to set my strategies and add the lines up lineups a little bit but i'll meet you guys in the first game let's see how we do all right here we go guys the first game of hot roulette he definitely doesn't have a good team as well he's got smith he's got tyler Toffoli. he's also got uh clark MacArthur on his team the guy that just got body checked by what was his name uh, from the preseason games. But anyways, we're going to get this game going. Let's see if we can score some goals here. Try to get that lead. Okay, 12 minutes into the first period. No real good chances so far. We're going to see if we can capitalize on this power play. Shoot the puck. Oh, no. Back to the point. Cicelo. Point to point. Oh, D to D. Get absolutely laid out there. Make sure you just stand right in front of him. Don't let him get anywhere with that puck. Pass it up. He's on a p penalty kill, so he doesn't want to risk it too much. Cislo, back and forehand, and there is the first goal. I don't know his first name, but Cislo with a weird little backhand forehand. I kind of messed that up, but that still kind of went in, and we make it one to nothing on that power play. Nice little start there. Watch out. Keep going, keep going. Put some pressure on him, put some pressure on him. Get the puck, there it is. Back to the point. Make sure he kind of bites a little bit. Back, down low, in front, shoot! Yeah, there is one of the, those good setup goals. Kind of a tic-tac-toe play. And look at Nathan Orr. Look how happy he is. Looks like a little kid there. But two to nothing. We're having a really good start to this first period. Holland. Back to the point. There it is. Kind of create some space here. Back to the side there. Pass it. Shoot. Ah, oh, Cicelo. I won't do too many back or too many cross creasers. I find that shooting from the anywhere is really good this year. So let's play some good defense here. Make sure he doesn't get any good chances. Just cut him off right there. Yeah, don't let him buy. All right, pass it up. Nugent Hopkins. Oh, what a pass. It's a breakaway. The double backhand. Oh, my goodness. I have to work on that for sure. Uh, pass it to Horton. Back to the point. Boom. Uh, terrible shot. Okay, so that is the end of the first period. Just switching my lines back to the number one lineups. But right now, 8-2 to two in shots. Five minutes on time on attack to about a minute. So, we're definitely outplaying him here. But... It's going to be expected in the first couple divisions because, I mean, we are like a Division 2 or Division 1 player at least. And we're going to be wrecking people in the beginning. So, anyways, let's keep going here. Try to get some more goals and increase that lead. Oh, he just gave the puck to me. Oh, in front of the net. Shoot! And there it is. Nathan Horton with a second goal. Just a nice little cross crease here. But he's just giving me the puck out. He's not really defending the center very well. I'm just capitalizing on every single play with Horton with an absolute rocket from the from the hash mark. So let's keep it up. It's three nothing now. Oh, go Nathan Horton. See if we can get him the hat trick. Deke him out. One more. Get by him. Backhand. Yeah, there, there it is. And that is the hat trick for Nathan Horton. Look how happy he is. And there we go. Four to nothing. Got to get that hat trick for Nathan Horton first before we, you know, do some fancy plays. But there you go. Four to nothing. Let's keep going. Oh, and look at that. We got the rage quit. I mean, he was playing for at least a few minutes before like anything happened. He still rage quit it. But we do end up with a score of 4 to nothing. So we'll go ahead and choose a 17th player on the marketplace but because we did get 17 shots. We'll go ahead and check how many coins we get as well. I'll meet you guys in the marketplace.
So we got our first win of Hot Roulette, which was kind of expected in Division 10. Those players aren't too good, and I wasn't trying to like blow up the game or anything. I was trying to score some pretty nice goals, but still the guy rage quit it, which means we can buy a player from the marketplace because we did win that game. We ended up with 1187 coins, so basically I put that buy now maximum at 1187 coins. We're going to be choosing the 17th player here, so let's see if we get something good here. So let's see what we get. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 five six seven and we're going to be going to the second row eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen next page fifteen sixteen seventeen so tom wilson is going to be your first pickup i'm going to buy a cheaper version of him because i want to conserve some coins here so let me go ahead and find him in the marketplace i'll be right back at the team Okay, so I bought Wilson for 450 coins, which still leaves me with 737 coins for the next pickup I have for the next game I do play. So anyways, we're going to be replacing Sislo on my right wing because he is the lowest right wing overall. And we're going to be replacing him with 83 overall Tom Wilson. He's got 89 checking, so definitely a big upgrade from Sislo. But anyways, that is how our team is looking like right now. So let's go ahead and go into our second game of the episode. Let's see if we can win that one as well. Alright, second game of the episode. Let's see what players he has. He has Desjardins, 2-2. Uh, so not really good players as well, which is a little bit fortunate for me because I don't have a good team as well. But let's go ahead and start up this next game. Let's see if we can score some goals early off in this first period. Oh, in front of the net. Oh, Holland just whipping on that puck, giving Wilson his debut. Use that 89 checking. That's what I'm talking about. What? How is that a penalty? I, that was a clean by check around. Elbow and get that out of here. Wilson already making a presence, getting a penalty in this game. Anyway, let's keep it going. See if we can uh, kill off this penalty. Oh, right by him. Get by him. Pass it. Horton with another goal. Oh, what a save by his goalie. I thought I had him beat far side, but Nathan Horn making a pretty good uh, I don't know, showing for our team so far in Hot Roulette. But uh, let's play some good defense here. Wilson's back out of the box, so we're back 5-on-5. Five five. Sauce. Oh, to Horton. Horton does it again, giving him those easy shots, and he's not going to miss that one. So we make it one to nothing. That's four goals for Horton in two games, which is pretty crazy. Maybe we can make it more, so let's keep it going. Still one nothing in the first period. Sauce it up. Oh, go Thompson. He's got the break. He's got the break, my player. There it is. The double backhand, and we make it two to nothing. Just get us that insurance marker. Just... For right now, he is getting a couple shots on me. It doesn't hurt to get another goal there. So we make it two to nothing in the second period. Let's keep it up. All right, so that is the end of the game. And uh, there's not many highlights to show in the third period. And I wasn't really looking to blow out this guy in Division 10. No one wants to see a guy blow a guy in Division 10. So anyways, we won that game. Let's take a look at how many coins we got. And that's 984 coins that we're adding on to the previous 700 we already have already. But so far, Hot Roulette, perfect record, 2-0-0. And let's take a look at the stats as well. 19-5 to in shots. And, uh, I mean, we're, we just outplayed this guy for sure. So anyways, let's go ahead, choose the 19th player. Let's see what we get. Alright, so we're back at the auction search page, and you can see here I put the buy now maximum exactly how many coins we have, 1721. So we're going to go ahead and search for the 19th player here. Hopefully we can get something good. That's a lot of like really good players for sure. So look at that, a lot of 86 overall players already, but uh, we know for a fact there's 7 in each row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which means that there's 14 on the each page. So we'll go to the next page and we'll start counting at 15. And the 15th player is going to be Boone Jenner, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So Michael Frolik is going to be our first rare player we're going to be putting into our team. So 600 coins is not a bad price at all, so I'll go ahead and buy him out, put him into the team. Okay, so here is the updated roster before we end off this episode. As you guys can see, we did throw a Michael Froelich into that first line right wing spot and move down Tom Wilson to that third line. I think that fits him just a little bit better. But Michael Froelich, I mean, he's our best car right now. We got to throw him onto the first line. And we still have 1,121 coins to spend. So we're looking pretty good with Hot Roulette so far. And if we can win that three-game win streak for the next episode of Hot Roulette, 
we have a chance of opening up a 15k gold pack. Maybe we can pull a team of the week or we can pull a really good player. We don't know, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave any suggestions for more rules that you want me to add in. I kind of want to add in a rule for synergies, uh, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to kind of uh, coordinate that so far. But I will try to come up with an idea for the second episode of Hot Roulette. But that's just about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you please can, leave a like. Let me know that you guys are excited about Hot Roulette and you want to see more episodes just like this one. But that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Before I'll probably sell all these players, I'll do like a trade game, I'll do some type of live stream and uh, trade these guys away so you guys can see what they go for. Uh, but anyways, this team worth about 2 or 300k and uh, this team is working really really well and you can see just from the